Uh, so hi everyone. Today we'll be looking at demonstration for Baby AGI. So Baby AGI is a very popular uh, AI agent that is like becoming at par with AutoGPT. So basically, it is also built around LLMs, which is able to help you brainstorm and different ideas. So the core idea of Baby AGI, which makes it unique, is its sub list uh, creating sub tasks for a given goal for a given prompt and eventually prioritizing these tasks on its self awareness. So as mentioned by the creators also. it can be taken as a task management system which not just uses an llm but also other stuff like lang chains or vector dbs like chroma etc so don't compare it with auto gpt because in case of auto gpt auto gpt is a little more advanced in terms of executing task also so you can create files you can delete files you can create a report using auto gpt but in case of baby agi it will be helping you just to brainstorm and giving you the text but it won't be saving results for you So this is a big limitation that comes with Baby AI. So uh, today in this demonstration, we will be going through an example for Baby AI. So to run Baby AI in your local system, you need to git clone this particular repo that is by Yohana Kazima, Baby AI. Once you are able to git clone, the next step is to go to the requirements or txt and pip install this requirement or txt as you do in your other projects. Now once you are able to do this, the third step is to go to this dot env dot example file as you can see. in the pack uh, in the library and eventually create a copy of this git, uh, git file on this git repo with the name .n now in .n dot example file if i open this there are a few parameters that you can play around with so here you can see that uh, the first parameter that you need to definitely change is open ai api key you need to provide it here second is you can play around with the model also which model you wish to use but the default is gpt 3.5 turbo the most important one being objective what objective you want a baby ai to go for so uh, in the default one is solve world hunger so the uh, demonstration that we would be running would be on how to end corruption in the world right now here one more parameter is initial task as you can see that develop a task list so it would be able it would be dividing this solve world hunger problem into multiple sub task right and there are multiple other parameters that are available that will help you add on more things like bv8 Pine code, etc. Pine cone, etc. So that you can play around with. So once you have changed all these things in the dot n dot example, either you can rename this file or you can copy the content into dot n file. Now once you are done with this, we will be opening a, a command line prompt and then navigating to the baby AGI Git repo. Now, once you have navigated to the Baby API Git repo, you just need to run this particular file, Python Baby API dot py. That's it. And then we will see the magic. So here you can see the Baby API started. The objective is end corruption for around the world. The initial task develop a task list, and then eventually you will see a task list also being generated by Baby API for this particular objective. See. it is able to create a task list of 20 tasks conduct a comprehensive analysis of existing anti corruption laws develop something so eventually what is happening it is creating one task or multiple task at a time and then eventually prioritizing these tasks as you can see in the logs that are coming up and then picking these tasks one by one here you can see that next task uh, what next task has to be picked up how it is updating the task list automatically all this is getting covered in this and eventually every output that baby ai is generating is coming into the logs only as you can see here the only problem as i already told you is that you can't uh, you can these results are not getting saved anywhere so you just need to uh, copy the contents of this log into some text file uh, one more limitation that you will observe while running baby ai is that it is a never ending process so eventually given a uh, given an objective it will always create new task and then keep on running infinitely until and unless you don't stop it so eventually uh, these are two major problems one is it is not able to save any results second is uh, it doesn't end on its own but still the results are pretty good as if you are able to read key which task it is prioritizing and eventually what response it is giving to it so the results are quite encouraging and i think in future uh, the developers might bring out something like uh, the integration executing task calls and saving results that will make it more powerful